Hi, it's Amy, Crazy Ames, if that's what you wanted to call me. Today I'm going to talk to you about Special Olympics, and I'm going to end, half of this is going to be Special Olympics, and half of this is going to be my August favorites. I have a little bit of stuff, so I don't want to do a whole video because I don't think I have that much. August is not quite over, but because I work at um, a store where a school supply store, it's a really crazy time for me, and I figured I have a little bit of time today. So, first of all, I'm going to talk about the Special Olympics. In 2010, um, I was kind of like depressed and not really going out and I needed some interaction with other people who had disabilities. All my friends were normal and I hate to say that but I don't know how to um, explain it any better. So um, my dad and his co-worker at work were talking about me and how I I'm motivated and so he talked about Special Olympics with my dad and my dad said 100% down she will not go for it um, I'm too shy I don't like sports and yes but I went to my first basketball practice I went to just technically to get my dad off my back but Ended up loving it. Um, I kind of had a crush on my couch. But I went because I knew it was a good place for me. I actually felt more at home there than anywhere I've ever felt in my life. Special Olympics has that impact on people that people just want to help. People want to make a change in people's lives. I totally feel Special Olympics has changed my life. Um, if it wasn't for Special Olympics, I don't think I would have made it this far in my life of being like independent and the confidence I have is because of Special Olympics. In 2015, uh, my soccer, my hockey, floor hockey team went to provincials in Ottawa. We Brought home the silver. We were going for gold, but we got silver, which is really cool. So here's the medal. If you see some green on it, it's been in a, like a drawer and something melted on it. But um, it says Special Olympics Ontario, and that's the logo, logo, logo. And you flip it over, and it says Provincials. Championship championships for the um, floor hockey Ottawa 2015. When I say floor hockey, it's actually ringette, but we play as hockey like hockey rules, just not on ice. Don't get me on ice, please. Um, last year we also went to London, Ontario, and uh, we got home. I think this is yeah. I think this is last year. We brought home a, a medal. It was it's not like silver, bronze, gold. A lot of um, tournaments, if they have the funds for it, will give you either a ribbon or a medal. And we all like rib um, medals. So this is our London tournament, London medal. Again, down below is the Special Olympic. Um, logo and the hockey logo. Um, here's a pin of Special Olympics I got because uh, I found it technically, so I put it on there. Um, so yes, I'm so I'm on a floor hockey team, a swimming team, a curling team. Yeah. Um, I also, on the other hand. This is out of Special Olympics. It's out of community living. Um, there's a kickboxing 
uh, a kickboxing like school thing, I joined because another thing, kickboxing, I've always wanted to do. I always wanted to do it. I said no because I wasn't comfortable. 2018's my year, baby. 2018. So I got a medal for, it's like a participation medal, but I thought it was pretty cool, so I'd show you that. So swimming, I mostly do the like 100 meter front, 100 meter back, and um, what else do I do? And uh, I either do a 50 um, breaststroke. Last year, I started doing 800, no, 400. Oh my god, I thought I couldn't do it. I almost couldn't do it, but this year I'm going to um, maybe even go swimming on my own time if I had time. So I'm very, very like into the swimming and hockey. This year I just started curling and it's actually really hard. I actually went home every night, every practice, and I started crying. I get so frustrated because I couldn't do it and I was going to give up and I wanted to give up, but I couldn't. By the, like the third, third last practice, it was like a, a light bulb. I understood how you throw it, how hard you have to do it. So, yeah. So, I have a really good um, friend. His name is Adrian and his brother works at in Pixar animation he actually worked on Coco so um so backtrack this he Adrian is one, one of my friends from Special Olympics and this is actually one of my favorites so maybe I'll just um say this is my first favorite so now I'm in the favorite part so he was on um, Coco, like he was one of the directors, and he brought this home for me because I like writing. I will never write this. And it just says, Amy, you rock from Brandon, your pals at Pixar. Look what he drew me. Look it. That's like awesome. He was the person who actually did Coco, like this guy. So, um, I really cherish this with my heart. Okay, so um, I'm just looking around just so I can put this down. My cut up. Neatly. My room is a mess right now. Okay, so I play a lot of PS4. Um, I play a lot on um, I like GTA 5. Um, sometimes I try to just play my other games, but I keep going back to this. So I'm going to say this is my favorite PlayStation 4 game at the very moment. Can you see that? It's Grand Theft Auto 5. Yes, okay. Some people say it's a very, like, violent, but I don't play it the way, really, way people play. My friends and I just drive around. We do look for gang attacks and we die all the time, but really... I don't know. Okay, you will see a theme with these three little thing, three things. So um, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna start off with started it. This is my favorite movie, favorite all time movie. It's called It. So um, it, the new one, the this. My friend got me for my birthday last year the book. I am not the best reader. Technically, it's almost been a year. But look at I'm almost there. That's like the end. Like so I couldn't understand why the book and the movie were so different. And it's driving me nuts because I'm like, this is like, it started off kind of the same, but not. And then somebody at work told me 
it's not, it's about the book, but it's not. There is episodes of it. I will let you know, it kind of scared me more than the real, the newer movie. Did you know there's going to be um, it too? It's going to be when um, the kids, grow, like those kids grow up and he, Pen, Pennington, Pen, Penny Wiser, he comes back. So I hope I didn't kind of like ruin that. So favorite book, even though I'm at the end. Okay. To be honest, I'm putting this medal back in because this was my very first medal for, from Special Olympics. It's my favorite. Okay. I live on my own, so this is going to be some cleaning supplies. I just got this Oxy Force from the dollar store. It actually worked very well. Work, works really well. Um, this deodorant, it's kind of good. I like it. Um, it's my favorite because I'm using it. I just brought a, um, some new brushes, like I said in my last video. Instead of going to Marshalls, I went to Winners, but it's kind of the same store. Oh, my baby is showing. Um, so it looks like this. I've used the brushes, so I'm sorry, but, um, um, it's like, like the long handles. They're really pretty. Um, ew. Let's just, sorry, that the armpit. Don't need to see that. My favorite food at the moment, it's this Uncle Ben's Bristo Express Indian style curry with basmati rice. You should try this. I don't even like rice. It's good. Good. You need to try it. Um, sorry. I need to see. My favorite candle. It literally smells like birthday cake. I don't know what it's called. Oh, it's vanilla bean, and I obviously got it at um, Bad, Bath and Body. Mine's a little dark because I don't know why. I didn't buy this myself. I got it. One of my coaches and I are very, very close. Like, she took me out for lunch yesterday because she hasn't seen me for a couple of weeks. She bought me a hand soap and cream. And I actually really loved the hand soap, too. This is this is called Mandarin, Mandarin Clove Hand Lotion with Honey Butter. It's pretty good. I like it. Um, I have a couple of unfavorites, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, this. My phone, sorry, my phone keeps going off. It's Glow. Nude Glow. It's just not my color. It's really bright. Here, I'll see the bottom just You can't even really see it. It's really, really light, and it came in a set. Oh, doesn't matter. I like the other one. I'm very disappointed in this, and I showed you guys this in my last little haul. I actually had to stop using these because the scent was very, like, I like the light, light brand. So, um, 
Walmart or I mean shopper sees this. I'm sorry, I love the brand, just not. It's the oopsie, the life brand, um, makeup wipes, um, remover, and like a calming scent, but it gives me a headache. I don't know if I'm just maybe have a sensitivity. Hmm. I thought I had more stuff actually. Like I think that's it. So um to go back to Special Olympics, if you still want more like how to get involved, message me down below and I will try to figure out in your country like wherever you are, there might be Special Olympics near you. Please, please, if you have an opportunity to help Special Olympics, this is not like, oh, give me money, but just support Special Olympics. Canada or U.S., doesn't matter. It's the same, um, my prospect. There's a lot of people who um, are suffering and, or I just read in the, um, see, look, it, it's broken. Why it fell off so fast. Broken. Uh, there's a lot of people who are stuck in group homes, and I have re written something about my feelings about what's happening in my town. Um, I'd really like to know if you guys would be willing to hear it because I'm kind of tempted into tempted to reading it. And maybe it can open your eyes a little because Special Olympics, yeah, you see the fun games. It's not very fun. The It is fun. Just some of the people are um, really need help and um, could use some, fr some normal friends. I hate to say that, but I hope you have a good night and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.